Potatoes, we have them all the time. We boil them, we mash them, we steam them, we fry them. But let's face it, when they're just by themselves, they're kind of dull. They're not bad, they're just not very exciting. So today, we're gonna try to oomph them up a bit. We're gonna take a few basic flavors from your kitchen cupboard and we're gonna turn them into something truly amazing. Let's make these fabulous ultimate potato wedges on the One Pot Chef. First things first, to make our potato wedges, we're obviously going to need some potatoes. I've got some big fist-sized potatoes today. It's better to use bigger potatoes wherever possible when making potato wedges, because I find if you use smaller potatoes, you get really tiny, itty-bitty wedges, and they're just, they don't seem as impressive, frankly. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut each potato in half lengthways, like so. Place them flat on the board, and all we're going to do is we're just going to make diagonal cuts like so. So we've got four wedges there, they're all roughly the same size. I recommend only making them just slightly thick like this, because if you make them too thick, they won't cook too quickly, they'll take forever to cook, and they should all roughly be about the same size, because if they're not all roughly the same size, you'll end up with some bigger, some smaller, the smaller ones will cook quicker, the bigger ones won't cook as quickly, and you'll end up with half of them overcooked and half of them undercooked. So that's roughly the size you want to go for. I ended up doing four potatoes, all roughly the same size, so we've got a fairly decent crop of potato wedges here. Now, all we need to do is pop them into a large bowl, as big as possible, because we're going to need some room to groove later, and we'll just set this aside while we work on our flavours. Into a small measuring jug, or even just a small bowl, I've got half a cup of olive oil. I'm just using regular olive oil, nothing fancy, nothing expensive, just regular average olive oil. And to that we're going to add in all sorts of different herbs and spices, just to really give this lots of flavour. So we're going to start with a tablespoon of dried garlic powder, a tablespoon of mixed dried Italian herbs. Now. These come in various varieties, but generally they have similar flavours. Things like parsley, thyme, oregano, oregano, uh, rosemary, basil, all those wonderful traditional flavours there. You can use any or all of these, or a combination of which, or whatever your flavoured her favourite herbs are. <laughs> flavoured herbs? Uh, yeah, so just whatever your favourite herbs are, feel free to add them in. And for a bit of smokiness, a bit of barbecue flavour, a bit of a bacony flavour, I'm going to add in this beautiful smoked paprika. And I'm putting in one tablespoon, and it really adds that wonderful smokiness. The smell of it is just amazing. And to that I'm also adding in a teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of pepper, just some freshly grated black pepper. Now this last one is entirely optional. I like it because I like to add that little bit of cheesiness. I'm putting in some Parmesan cheese. Now I'm not using freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I'm using this powdered stuff. It usually comes in a little shaker container like this and you put it over pasta dishes like spaghetti bolognese. I'm not using the fresh stuff simply because it tends to clump together and it becomes really difficult to use in this recipe. So this powdered stuff is a great alternative. I'm putting in just under half a cup. And all we need to do now is just, using a spoon, we're just gonna stir everything together until it's completely combined. And all we need to do is pour our herb and spice olive oil mixture over the top of our potatoes. Just drizzle it over like so. Get every last drop of it, because it's all amazing flavors. And here's where we need the big bowl, and we get a bit messy, but gosh, it's worth it. We're just going to put our hands in, and you're just going to gently toss the potato wedges until each and every one is completely slicked in that beautiful flavour, and oil everywhere, and cheese, and herbs, and spices. It doesn't take too long, because they all sort of end up getting 
quite nicely coated very quickly. But if you look at that colour, you can see how those are automatically becoming those traditional brown potato wedge colour. They've got that lovely sort of smoky red colour all through it, very earthy, little bits of herbs everywhere. This is fantastic. I'm going to wash my hands and then we're going to be ready to pop this onto a tray. I wish you could smell this through the screen. It is absolutely amazing. The aroma of the garlic and the cheese and the herbs is just absolutely phenomenal. Plus they look absolutely gorgeous. You could almost eat these right now if the potatoes weren't raw, but we probably should cook them. Now, speaking of cooking, you'll notice that I've put them onto the tray with the skin side of the potato wedge down. Now I do this for a reason because that way you get a lot of hot air swirling around each one of the wedges when they're in the oven. This makes the cooking much more even. It also allows the cut sides of the wedge to basically get a chance to dry up and go crisp and golden. If they're sort of lying on a cut side, they can stick to the tray, they don't cook properly. So make sure they're all sort of balanced on that skin side. It really does make all the difference. Right, enough talking about it. Let's put these into the oven. Preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius, about 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 minutes or until they are cooked all the way through and they are golden and crisp on the outside. While our potato wedges are baking in the oven, I just thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Fresh out of the oven, our potato wedges look absolutely gorgeous. The best way to test them is either to just prick them with a fork, make sure they're nice and soft on the inside like mashed potato, but even just pressing them with your finger, you can feel that pretty much easily. These are ready to serve immediately, so you can toss these into a big bowl and share them around with your friends. I recommend some dipping sauces like some sour cream and some sweet chili sauce, but you could also go for barbecue sauce, ketchup, whatever you happen to have on hand. Oh, I can't wait to dive in and have a taste of these. With this recipe, there is no excuse for a boring potato side dish. These are not that complicated to make. If you can make boiled potatoes, if you can make mashed potatoes, you can make these. They are sensational, they look amazing, they smell fantastic, and the taste is just superb. How gorgeous are they? Oh, wow, they're so golden and gorgeous on the outside. Oh. Cannot wait to dive in and have a taste of these. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. <laughs> oh, they're absolutely amazing. They're soft like mashed potato on the inside, but they've got this wonderful crispy skin on all sides. The skin actually from the potato skin on the bottom, but then you've got this lovely golden crisp coating on the two cut sides and the flavour really penetrates inside. It's absolutely sensational. These are great with dipping sauce, like I said, sour cream and sweet chilli sauce are a favourite here in Australia, but feel free to use whatever you like. These are absolutely amazing, you must give them a try. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time, see you later. These are easy enough that you can make them pretty much any day of the week, but they're particularly good if you've got a few friends dropping by for movie night and you want to feed them something that's just easy to put together and great for sharing. A big bowl of potato wedges, you could do a double batch of this if you've got a few people coming over, add a few dipping sauces and everyone's going to think you're an absolute genius in the kitchen, but you and I know this is a really, really easy recipe. Just don't tell your friends, make them think you're a genius.